It's all fun and games playing outside with our pets until their skin gets a nasty reaction from something that they've come into contact with. There are many plants out there that are quite harmful to our furry friends. So tell me, Dr. Richard Thomas, what are some of the common plants that irritate our pet's skin? So the most common plants uh, you'll get up here would be uh, Moses in a cradle. It's the most common one. It's a long name. What is that one? Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a type of, have you heard of spath plants? They're called spath plants. I obviously don't have a green yeah. thumb. Oh, I'm but... terrible. Yeah, I don't know. I kill, <laughs> I kill every plant that I touch. So. Um, so there's sort of like this beautiful, I mean, they're kind of gorgeous. There's all this beautiful kind of green plant with a, a sort of purple hue. They're quite spiky. Okay. I know um, which one you're talking about. Really common. Very robust, mm. right? That's why we use them. They're very drought resistant. Um, but they're, they're almost like the plant to cause contact allergies in pets and they're, they're just everywhere up here. Um, that would be the most common one. Uh, there's another one called uh, Wandering Jew, which is, uh, uh, it's got this really kind of striking kind of colored leaf. It's sort of got like a black stripe down the middle with pale edges. It's, again, it's a beautiful plant, uh, very common up here. Uh, that would probably be the most second common uh, plant causing contact allergies. Uh, grasses are very common. Um, so buffalo grass, uh, kakuyu is very common. Um, indoors, uh, these aren't plants, but uh, mold spores from old air conditioners, uh, very common irritant. And uh, house dust mites from unwashed bedding, you know, laying on the couch outside, that sort of thing. Um, very, very common allergen as well. There you go. So, um, what? They're much like humans in a way, then, except yeah. for the plant side of things. Oh no! I mean, well, we get hay fever, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. But dust and mold, didn't they? Dogs yeah, could be allergic to that. Absolutely. Yeah, very mm. common. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. In fact, uh, we think it's about thirty percent of our uh, sort of like illness presentations are allergy related. So it's a very common problem. Wow. Mm. So, what are the symptoms then of irritated skin? Obviously, a rash. Yeah. So, I mean, you got the rash, and you yeah. got, you know, you're itchy. Yeah. Uh, you know, you lick. You're uh, dragging so yourself along dra your stomach. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you got the, it, they do the commando crawls, yeah, yeah. Uh, which can be like very self-perpetuating because they often rub themselves on the grass that's causing yeah. irritation, and then it just goes crazy. Yep. Um, uh, definitely a, a slightly. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, like a, like a, like a funky smell, like a, like a gross wet dog smell, very common. Sounds uh, delicious. For, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's the secondary yeast overgrowth from the, oh. the skin irritation. <laughs> uh, paw biting uh, okay. is very common, so yeah. just, just really kind of trying to destroy their paws. Uh, recurrent ear infections uh, that, you know, eardrops aren't getting on top of or keeping at bay. Uh, we think about 90% of our recurrent ear infections are a symptom of skin allergies as well. So. Wow. Yeah, I don't so even know dogs things, got so. ear infections. Not uncommon. Yeah, wow. no, no, not uncommon. Learning yeah. lots today. Yeah, that, that, that's why we do this. So. <laughs> They're so yeah. like children, our fur babies. <laughs> yeah. uh, so is there anything that pet owners can do at home to treat these symptoms? Yeah, certainly. Um, so if you think that, you know, if you have any of, you know, the wandering Jew, the uh, Moses in a cradle, these grasses, allergen avoidance. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you're in a fence area off or just stop mm. getting in contact with them. Uh, can be very effective. You know, wash all your bedding, uh, uh, wash all their bedding, sorry. Mm. Uh, Unless and, they sleep with you. <laughs> yeah, leave it in the sun to kill all the house dust mites. Yep. Um, diets, uh, good quality diets, particularly those with lots of omega 3 fatty acids, so, so all the fish oil type, type things. Um, very good for their skin. Uh, avoiding excessive shampooing okay. is good for their skin as well. Yeah, much like humans with eczema, I mean, you, you know, if you've got eczema, you're not going to go and use heaps of soap or anything like that because mm. it's very irritant. It sort of strips all the oil oils out. Yes. Um, and you're going to use lots of moisturizer. Okay. Right. So the same principle applies to our allergic dogs. So not too much shampoo. Uh, if we're going to use it, use something oatmeal based because it's quite soothing and definitely apply good conditioner afterwards, like an oatmeal-based oatmeal based conditioner it is really good. Um, practically speaking, you know, allergen avoidance and omega-3s and looking after our barrier function with our shampoos and conditioner, it's only gonna get you so far. Mm. Really, you know, if you're quite allergic, you probably need some meds from the vet, uh, yeah. of which there's a few different kinds. And, you know, we always kind of make our system based on the, what's best for you and your pets. So. Yeah. yeah. So if 
you know, when is it time to see a vet? Obviously, if you've cut mm. all those things out and you're doing yeah, all those things the same, itchy, then yeah. and it's not having any benefit, you need to come see you. And probably, yeah. And sometimes yeah. it's a topical cream. Could, look, we, uh, we'd start off with a topical cream, you know, if it's mild, uh, all the way through to allergy tablets, of which there's a few different kinds. And, and look, you know, even beyond that, uh, we also can organize a referral to a dermatologist for uh, skin testing and desensitization injections. Uh, just like you know, you and I would get. Yep. So yeah, so that that's a possible avenue as well. So, so there you have it. Yeah. Um, nothing's worse than our pets scratching themselves silly because they've had an allergic reaction. So if you have any concerns about your pet, whether it be about a rash, about their health, or if you simply need some advice, don't hesitate to contact the amazing team at Cans Vets, twenty four hours a day.